Hi friends, this tutorial I will teach how to create a login form in using Visual Studio uh, .NET 2010 and uh, SQL database. Okay, just I am going to start menu and go to Visual Studio 2010. So once is uh, uh, once is uh, you are opened open your project, just creating a new project new project new project then i am using the language called visual c sharp and windows application select windows application my project name is uh, windows form application 4 just i am click ok buttons so one default form will become so i will change this form to login form okay how to change it just uh, once I, I i want to create it first you have to uh, understand understand the concept okay first i want to create the login form login form means i uh, want username and password so i am go to text box here just one text box and one more text box two buttons one and two yeah i am just changing the text box equal to like uh, go to arranging the text box and two labels two is not I am using three levels okay just I am here tracking and change the name to here user name here I am change to password P -A -S -S. password password okay I'm just sharing to here password okay I have two buttons one is login and this is exit exit here yeah, I'm using and symbol and symbol then have to see like exit X in uh, underscore X equal to underscore one is that in below the X okay here login login okay I'm using one Panel. like any logos or anything you need then just through it just and go to login properties and go to font just font to properties and go to form name equal to form and text equal to login window login window now it's changing login window just I'm changing a color like uh, I like very much in this color and here I'm changing little bit custom color I'm going to check like that. it's not good I think I'm using this color only just I'm going to change both color equal to white this is my uh, thinking okay just I'm leave it click exit button this dot close and go to 
once I hit the login button I want to go like form 2 okay so I am creating the form on on more form go to solution explorer right click add new item or new forms new forms so this is main just add it and just little bit track it just I'm changing color like okay control s and go to the login form and uh, i'm hit form oh, my form name is main this is equal to new main just i'm um, dot show this dot hide just I'm running the form this is login form just I'm clicking the main window will be opened and okay. and run the programs just click exit then the program will be exit okay now I'm going to form and I'm creating the one database here just go to server explore and I am creating the one database like create new connections and here go to type any database name like just uh, data I am using database names data here I am selecting the SQL Microsoft SQL server file database file you have to go to and select here okay any doubts just I am uh, here and just I am click OK. The default programs will created in my documents. Okay, just OK. Yes. That once your database created, then you have to create uh, like table. Table name is login, and I will create two files like uh, name and uh, username and uh, password. Okay. Here my database here. Just I am go to table no table is that just right click add new table so here uh, user name data type back cap and password this is also back cap here I am using username uh, underscore just I am using username and here I am taking like that ok here I am using set primary key just control S it and table name is login and click ok so our table is created close so I am creating just go to show data show table data we will show nothing here i am typing username is user p a s s one two three pass one two three this is password okay just i am going to here once i am click login button it will be login okay just go to login button here I am writing uh, I am importing the SQL using system dot data dot SQL client ok once I imported SQL client here I am going just I am 
guys uh, program like uh, connection sql connection sql connection con equal to new sql connection here i will put the connection part connection string just click the your database and right click and go to properties here connection string is there just double click and control c here in double quote you have to inside the double quote you have to paste it just call it okay this is my data so he has some errors is coming because of the single quote oh yes you have to go to hat symbol the no error will be come otherwise you have to using double slash like that so no need for that just i using at symbol like that okay now i want to using sql data adapter because i want to try to fetch the data so i am using sql data adapter to sql data adapter sda equal to new sql data adapter here i am writing like select star from select star from login here no need to select star this time using count star this is my logic i am using some different logics okay using count star user name equal to sorry plus text was on the text and password equal to Text box two dot text. Here some error code is there, so just send me C O N connection. Okay, guys. Now I am fetching the that result into one data table. So I'm using data table D T equal to new data table. SDA dot fill PT. Now if if DT dot rows like zero zero to string equal to Box dot show yes please check your user name and So I'm I'm explaining this code. So first I'm running the programs like I'm just uh, using hide the here and hide the minus. Okay, just I'm using uh, first I'm using the SQL connection C O N using the I'm fetching the connection 
string here after that I'm using the SQL data adapter to run the SQL query select count star from login where username equal to text box 1 and password equal to text box 2 is right then the count will be 1 is wrong anything is wrong then count will be 0 okay so I am using data grid and uh, data table dt rows 0 column 0 row the value is if if equal to 1 then hide the form will be hide and uh, main main form will be coming like show otherwise the message will become please check your username and password like and, and all okay why well, okay guys I'm just running the programs so uh, this is my window just I'm typing user and I am typing pause one two three just click login so login window will be coming okay so I am using wrong password and username then user and password pause one two four this is wrong right I am clicking please check your username and password like that okay guys we will teach our next tutorial in better projects better logics okay meanwhile if you have to any queries or any doubts uh, just post into command command me I will definitely add uh, definitely add uh, add the videos for your solutions okay guys we will need we need 